name is William Chernoff. I'm a senior attorney with the law firm of Chernoff, Bedart, Echeverria, and Bentley. Well, right now I've been working on a case which is going to trial actually next week. And it's an interesting case because it involves a senior citizen, uh, quite a senior citizen in this case. This lady is now 92 years old and she's in an assisted living facility. She had an IRA account with about $160,000 in it and an insurance company uh, visited her and induced her to take all of her money out of an IRA account and convert it into an annuity that they say would help her qualify for a Veterans Administration pension. And she, was el she wasn't eligible for the Veterans uh, Administration pension because her assets were more than the requirements of the Veterans Administration. But the insurance company says, well, we'll make you eligible by taking your money away from you <laughs> and converting it into an annuity and that way you'll be eligible. So uh, our, our case is that uh, we allege that this is just a scam and we're going to ask for uh, punitive damages to stop this scam uh, because we think uh, it's a pretty awful situation what's going on here. Well, I think their defense is going to be that uh, uh, this particular senior citizen, they had her sign uh, some what they call disclosures, in other words documents they had her sign that where she says she's doing uh, this uh, knowingly, that she understands what's going on. The problem they're going to have with that is that this lady has macro degeneration, which is an eye disease, and she couldn't see the documents that they asked her to sign. They just had her sign these documents, and she couldn't read the documents. She couldn't even see the documents. So that's pretty bad, in my opinion, and I think they may pay the price in punitive damages. That's what I'm hoping for. And I've been fighting for, for insurance consumers for 40 years and I'm pretty charged up about fighting for this particular consumer because she is 92 years old, like I said, living in an assisted living facility and, and they took all her money. I just like fighting for people that need help, especially when a big insurance company is trying to take advantage of them. And uh, that's what keeps me going. I've been doing it for a long time and I still like doing it. And it's, it, it, it's, it's rewarding, it's fun, and I think it uh, deters insurance company in the future and makes them think twice before uh, taking advantage of claimants.